right guys, it's the question as old as hunting itself. How do you keep your feet warm in the deer stand? I've heard of everything from wearing super thin socks, dress socks, to wearing bread bags on your feet to keep the moisture out. But today we're gonna look at a way that's manufactured right here in America, the Muck Boot Company and the Arctic Pro Boots by Muck Boot. So guys, I'm sure you've dealt with it as much as I have. It's late season, still haven't punched your buck tag. You gotta get out there in the woods. It's 20 degrees every day for a hide, but you're chasing a beautiful whitetail and you just can't give up stand time. Well, what's one of the most important things in those elements is to keep your whole body warm, but the, one of the hardest things to keep warm is obviously your feet. So as I mentioned, people will try anything, but we're gonna do a review today on a boot that I picked up trying to commandeer that exact problem right there is my feet actually get very very cold in the deer stand um, up here in this northern indiana climate we're 45 minutes south of the michigan line so it gets really really cold up here late season it's not uncommon for me to sit four or five hours in wind chills below zero or real field temperature right around zero and especially with a metal stand underneath your feet uh, even out of the blind when the ground's cold like that, your feet just almost have no chance against that cold coming up through the bottom and freezing you out. And once your feet get cold, it's extremely difficult to stay in the deer stand for very long at all. So I picked up these muck boots. These are the Arctic Pro by Muck Boot, the ones on my feet right here. The ones I have next to me are a uh, Cabela's brand rubber boot of similar uh, insulation value. Uh, these go by grams. The ones on my feet here, the Arctic Pro, these go by millimeters of insulation. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so it's, it's kind of difficult to compare their apples and oranges. I don't really understand the way to calculate how, how many uh, grams of insulation millimeters comes out to be. Uh, but I know that this is their warmest boot and uh, everyone in the review said that this is Muck's warmest boot so I went ahead and picked it up since I was trying to stay warm in extremely cold temperatures I really didn't care on what the insulation value was everyone has said these boots are extremely warm so that's what I was after so I went ahead and I picked a pair up um, in terms of price uh, these boots from Cabela's and I'm, the easiest way for me to do this review is to kind of compare another type of boot that I've used but the review is really on these muck boots but these ones from Cabela's um, are around 2,000 grams of insulation and for price wise they came in around $135, $140 somewhere in there uh, but they were actually a gift to me so uh, I, those didn't cost me anything uh, but these boots here uh, from the factory, it, there's quite a bit of disparity in these muck boots here. From the factory, they are about $220, even for these tan and brown ones. Uh, and if you're going to pay for the camouflage, you can tack on another 30 bucks. So for me, that wasn't worth it, especially since I can't even um, get my heavier pants inside of here. So my pants um, in late season are going to be hanging over the top of this neoprene brown anyway. So only this is going to be showing. So for me, it wasn't worth 30 extra dollars uh, for something that's gonna be hidden. So I went ahead and bought these. And actually where I mentioned that disparity there is from the factory, 220 bucks or somewhere right around there. But I bought these from Tractor Supply for around $175. So I don't know if it's like that with all companies, with all products, but that's quite a bit cheaper. In terms of how these boots actually fit, which is the next thing I wanna talk about. Uh, with these Cabela's boots, I had to buy a size up. I wear a 12 in almost everything. So I bought a size up to pack in the heavy wool socks. I won't wear more than two layers of socks, but oftentimes I'll wear a heavy wool layer. So I had to buy a size up on those. On these, I actually bought a 12 and took a shot in the dark because I ordered them offline. Um, but 12 has fit me really, really well. I've worn a pair of merino wool on the base of my foot and then a heavy wool layer on top of that. And I've never had any problems with trying to scrunch my boot in here. Obviously with three socks, I don't even think I'd be able to get my foot in. Uh, because these do talk, I'll talk about that in a second, and these do fit a little bit tighter around certain areas to try and cinch in that warmth and hold it in there. But So for fit, I like the way these fit better. I don't have to go size up, and with Cabela's not making the half sizes, those boots um, left a whole lot of space in my foot that even with those extra socks wasn't filled in. So I didn't like the way they fit, they were clumsy. Something I like a whole lot better about these muck boots is that they fit better in terms of uh, walking and not having all that extra space in the end of your foot there 
so that you can trek without feeling like you're wearing clown shoes, kind of, uh, is what I'm getting at. I like the way they fit a little bit more like a, like you would buy a boot for work. So that is a really big plus for me on these boots. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is how warm these boots actually are, and I'm sure that's why you're here. Um, so the reason I got these boots, as I mentioned, everyone tries to keep their feet warm in the deer stand, but I've typically focused on boots. Um, I had a pair of 1600 gram insulation lace up lacrosse boots and same thing I just felt like I was wearing clown shoes they just looked huge they were warm to a point uh, they weren't amazing I wasn't wowed by them there was often times when it got below 30 when my feet were cold in two hours and that was with you know layering my socks and, and doing whatever I could do and then I got these rubber boots uh, as a Christmas present and they were okay down to about the same a little less than 30 degrees and then my feet would freeze out and the one thing that for me these boots really were lacking in is if you were to take a look at up here going up the calf this is super thin and most of the insulation is down here right below the ankle and into the toe and the sole of it is really lacking insulation which with a with a metal stand it's going to come through the bottom and freeze your foot out and also this doesn't cinch up tight around your ankle to hold heat in so the reason I make those points is because I find the opposite with the muck boots here these Arctic Pros actually have two inch or excuse me two millimeters uh, of insulation on the bottom to help keep the cold from coming up through the bottom and on the ankle right here they're uh, almost cuffed for lack of a better word but they hold really well tight against my calf there uh, and that's actually one thing I heard is some guys with bigger calves say that they have to go up a size because of that. So if you're looking at buying these, keep that in mind if you have bigger calves. I'm six foot, about 205 pounds for reference. And I guess I would have normal size calves. It's kind of hard to say. But uh, for me, I don't have any problem with that being too tight. But like I said, that's something I really like better about these boots is how they fit tight against my calf to hold that heat in there. As a negative to that, though, when you're walking to the deer stand, um, what I've learned to do with these boots is to wear my merino wool socks on the bottom. That's the best way I've learned to wear them. Is to have a, la a layer on the bottom like that that wicks moisture away. And I carry in, in my backpack, a uh, heavy wool layer of socks. So when I get to the stand, I actually put those on. So, um, as I was going to say, one point that I found about these boots is they're super, super warm, active. When you're moving around, they're probably the warmest rubber boots, and if for that matter, maybe any boot that I've ever worn. If you can stay active, which which is why I think I see a lot of farmers wearing these boots. When you're moving around a lot, they're incredibly warm. You'll have no problem with keeping your feet warm whatsoever. Uh, but for sitting in the stand, they're not quite that good. But like I said, your feet will get really hot when you're walking, as they are so warm when you're active. And if your feet sweat like that, well, we all know, you get to the deer stand and your feet are toast. They have no chance, they're just gonna freeze out. So the first two times I hunted with these, I thought, man these boots are horrible this is not what I paid for and then I tried okay let me think about this a little bit I knew my feet had gotten sweaty so I tried that little trick there I, I came in with merino wool and kept my wool socks off got in the stand and I was in there for a little bit let them put that um, wool sock on while my feet were still warm but not to the point that they would start sweating to hold in that heat so I put that wool bigger wool sock on put the boots back on and my feet were pretty good for that hunt and that was around uh, 28 degrees and I sat for four or five hours so um, will they keep your feet cold indefinitely in the deer stand um, unfortunately no I wore these boots on an all-day hunt it was November 7th um, and we've actually had a pretty cold November here in Indiana so November 7th around I think the high was gonna be 30 uh, for the whole day and in the morning it was as low as 18 degrees so by about noon and I got in there around 630 so five and a half hours, uh, my feet, you could start to feel, okay, they're going to be cold by the end of this hunt. And by the time it got to four o'clock or so, so tack on another four hours, uh, my feet were, were cold. And I sat with cold feet for another two and a half hours till dark. Um, and I didn't even get a buck out of it, so, <laughs> but that's hunting. But to keep me warm in 18 degree weather for, I'd say five and a half hours, they were warm. And that was just with merino wool base layer, heavy wool layer on top of that. And I was sitting on a metal stand. So one thing you can do is put carpet on your sands. And I keep telling myself I'm going to get to that, but I haven't. 
but for five and a half hours of warmth, that's the best I've had a boot do with that combination of socks. These boots over here would not, in that weather, these wouldn't keep me warm for more than two hours, and I can tell you that much. The lacrosse boots were probably the next closest, but these muck boots are still the warmest, but like I said, unfortunately, no, they're not the magic beans. They don't keep your feet warm indefinitely. Uh, but if I had to rank these boots, if I was giving them five stars, or on a scale of five stars rather, uh, they would probably come in really close to a four. Um, just a few of the things I don't like about them is for one, when it talks in millimeters of insulation, I don't like that because I personally don't realize how much insulation that actually is. Like I said, I was just looking for the warmest boot they had. I've heard good things about the muck boots, so I just bought the warmest one that I saw on their website. But if someone was looking for something to accommodate a mid-season and they wanted a little bit of insulation, it would be a little bit more difficult to figure out, okay, how much insulation value does that actually have? Unless you are smart in the millimeters, I didn't really understand how much insulation that was. Um, in durability, I like them. Um, like I said, I've only had them for two and a half, three months now, but I have no rips, no snags, no tears on them. Uh, the neoprene I was a little worried about maybe catching on briars and ripping because uh, you don't really have that issue with rubber boots there's you know they might scratch a little bit but they're not going to rip but so far I've walked through some pretty thick stuff on these properties that I hunt and uh, no noticeable tears rips uh, nothing stretching or cutting or anything um, so for durability I'd probably it's tough to say it, I haven't had them long enough but so far for the two and a half months I've had them there's no reason I wouldn't give them a five stars right now because I see no issue with that um, in terms of warmth, like I said, probably four stars. They didn't, they don't wow me, but they're as good as I've had so far. So they might do better for you. I might be an anomaly because I do want to mention that when I read the reviews on their website, everybody said these were the warmest boots I've ever worn sitting in the stand in 15 degree weather. Their feet stayed warm with a pair, one pair of socks, you know. So I read through all those reviews and, um, it seems like I'm the only one who's ever got cold feet with these muck boots on. So if you try these out, it might work out a little bit better for you. Uh, I wish I could say that they kept me warm forever, uh, but they didn't quite. Still, I think they're a pretty decent investment. So you have to try them out for yourself, guys. But these are the Arctic Pro boots from the Muck Boot Company.